onward and forward forever and ice well, I mean water damn it everyone hears me when I misspeak and then I'm doomed that's pretty much it that's pretty much the whole process stop it cut it out Well, this is a new mechanic. Where do we want the water to go exactly? We're probably good, right? Oh yeah. There's something happening now. But we also want one to go this way. How many different water wheels are there? And how do I tell where I'm going? Okay. I take it that this time one of the core ideas is that I need to figure out how to spin both water wheels at once. Hmm. Let's try to line that up. I think it might give me another tree. Which would give me more fruit to work with. There it goes. So with more fruit to work with, maybe I can make it go in more directions. So I now have two more of these guys. This raises its own problem. How do I power both of these at the same time? Hmm. This one back here is glowing, so I think I got one more budget than I had before. I guess it turned into a tree, so it got refunded. That's the theory I'm running with right now. I don't know, it just kind of makes me wonder if I can send this somewhere else. That's not very helpful. The infinite, the infinite fall is not very helpful to me. Oh, That's how I'll get more. Gotcha. I didn't see that at first. That's really important. If we grow another tree, we'll have more block budget. Oop. Come back, sir. I need your help with this next bit. Yes. Oh god, they gave me so many. Okay.
Well, at this point, I figure I let it go through this wheel. Then I try to redirect it through the other wheel. Hmm. The stairs are going to be a problem, aren't they? Yes, quite. Maybe now is when I redirect and don't go through this one first anymore. Maybe I only had to go this way to turn this guy on. But maybe now I want to turn back around. Because this one's on the high ground. So it, it seems to dictate that you would want to do the one that's on the high ground first. And then kind of figure out how to send it back around. I imagine the direction on the wheel matters, though. So I don't think I want to send it that way. I think I want to send it over here if I can. There we go. They seem to have given me a ton of blocks to work with. So the margin of error is really wide on how to solve this part. Once you get that far. They're just like, okay, go for it. It's fine. You deserve it. Oop. You are right over there? You freaking out on me? Well. Hi there. Oh. I th ah! What happened? That's what I thought, yeah. But I am supposed to come here. Oop. Oh, when I change the gravity direction, I'm accidentally turning off the water because the water stops working. I was wondering what I managed to do exactly. Yep. I still get that drop in my stomach when I fall these great distances in a video game. It's always been a thing for me. Yep. All right, we're good. Unfortunately, no one survived the cataclysm. These are beautiful screens. Get out of here. There's always something kind of satisfying about running the block along the stairs. Don't mind me, I'm just growing the temple around you. Just spewing them chunks everywhere. Yeah, so I was supposed to just run forward to the next place at the end. You're not supposed to navigate this world non-linearly, even though you can. It's all inaccessible and un unhelpful. You just keep going forward. The paradox there. Such a wide open world, but you actually just run in a straight line. And that's your solution. Hmm. 
Hmm. That's always trippy. The water that only functions in one direction. I should probably figure out what my goal is first. Oh, okay. It's basically just to make this go around. I think we're just supposed to make the stream go to that doorway. on this? <gasps> when the streams are frozen, you can walk on them. That's neat. Did I do that? I didn't even plan this. Did I do that? Oh, yeah. You just do the two zigzags there, and that makes it go across here. I thought we were going to do something crazy, like shoot it up the wall or something towards... Because I saw vaguely some white stuff over here, so I thought we had a plan. But I, I kind of accidentally solved it. Because by making go this way, it creates this path, and then you can walk along it. And this was actually what my goal was. So I actually didn't know what my goal was. I was just kind of intuitively solving the puzzle based on the level design. It just kind of happens that way sometimes. You get a feel for how these games work at times. Son of a bitch. All right. Good luck understanding where you are in this level. We want this, we want water on here. Is that what I'm seeing? Yeah, there's like a, a ladder on the ceiling, fountain over here, tree to the right, but then that tree is the one I'm seeing here. And that fountain over there is on the left. Why does this work this way? I have no idea. I'm not sure if that serves a mechanical purpose or if it's just there to disorient me. I'd, I'll take either, honestly. Uh... Alright. But how do I get to the fountain? And now I'm over here. Yeah, that roof is a bunch of rectangles. This one's one rectangle. Oh, shit. Confusing, but okay. This was all the parallel room. Is there another doorway down here? No, it's not open. Okay. Huh. Yeah, I got through here by following the ceiling and realizing that the, that's how they're interconnected. That's trippy. Okay. It's funny how these go. It's you think that you'd solve things logically, but sometimes you just kind of intuit your way through some of these processes. Like you're failing upward, falling through a dream. Trying to think about it too hard, where I am and what I'm doing. Bizarre. So basically the middle of this room has like a couple of rooms, but yeah, like here you can see the middle room But be so there's three rooms, 
But when you try to navigate this area, you connect directly between the two outside rooms while mysteriously not being able to reach the middle room. You have to do the weird loop-de-loop -loop to get in. It's a room that breaks your brain because it doesn't make any sense. Because it's impossible. And that's what they're doing on, on purpose because video games can pull off some crazy shit. This is some of the best films for demonstrating non-Euclidean shit, uh, space, or non, I don't know, non-Euclidean might not be the right word for it, but spaces that don't actually fit together in a logical way. You see that some of, some of that in, in, in Inception, they were walking around like the, the infinite staircase for that, that's another Escher idea in Inception. But in Inception's case, what they actually do is they trick you a little bit. Because when they pull that kind of stuff off in that kind of movie, what they're doing in part is that they're actually using, uh, they're using editing. And I don't mean like special effects, although there was plenty of that in the movie, but when they did the staircase scene, they really just did a perspective shot of an of an impossible staircase. It was just a staircase that went up into the air and then ended in midair and dropped you, basically. But what they did is they just had the two actors start over, over and over again, at walking up and down up the staircase, and they would edit it so to skip over the transition of them starting over because they kept cutting, and so as a result, it looks like they're just walking in a circle. And they look that la that lady dropped her papers and they walked past her multiple times. What's up with that? But that's often pulled off with the editing jump cuts. But in a game like this, you can pull off those kinds of crazy infinite impossibilities without any well, with tricks, just not editing tricks. There's continuity in your experience. Instead, your experience cheats in very different ways. Teleports. Portals. Actual portals, the kind that can't be in a movie. Or that can be in a movie, they just can't be on the set. The actors can't go through the portal, because the portal can't be real. But in a video game, the portal can be real. Kind of. Video games, you crazy. This is not where I want to go, though. So let's transition to the other side of the hallway. There's a wallpaper right there. <laughs> Now, where are we at? Oh! Oh! Whoa! Well, that doesn't serve much purpose, does it? What? Okay, it wouldn't let- Oh, it wouldn't let me get on the surface because this is like this. The area would have been too narrow for me to stand up. I was worried. I thought they turned off my ability to walk on walls, but I just can't transition onto this wall when I'm in there because I won't fit. Gotcha. We're learning things. What am I looking at? That's oh, just a waterfall. So this seems like an issue. So the waterfall goes down. 
But I probably wanted to go over there. I guess it would help if I figure out what's going on over here. Oh, this back door. I mixed it up with the entrance. Yeah. But now that I see it, we should be fine. In fact, this part should basically be intuitive. Just go down the stairs, follow the, ha follow the hallway. And your every dream will come true. Love these hallways. The infinite hallway. The void. What is that? That is new. What do you do? Unnerving? Unnerving and uncertain. Oh. Did you invert the direction? It did. Okay. What do I want to do with the other one? Neat. So I was just inverting gravity so it would fall down here. Gotcha. I was inverting its direction, which means it deactivates instantly. That's why it was floating. It was floating because it went, it stopped being active. Anything that doesn't anything that doesn't uh, point towards the current ground gets deactivated. So when this makes a point up, it's pointing up. So then if I invert gravity, it falls. There's a beam back there, but the fact that it's orange instead of purple makes me wonder if maybe it doesn't work on the purple blocks. God damn.
Uh oh. Well, that's not altogether promising. This kind of reminds me of the imagery of the manga Blame, which I guess some people said it's pronounced Blam, but if that's the case, why'd they spell it wrong? I don't know. But in that ser in that manga series, I believe what happened is that some kind of self-replicating or building machine designed to keep constructing buildings forever just kept going and maybe mankind died out or maybe it killed them or something and just kept building and building and building and building into building so you have these massive impossible spaces that just don't seem to serve any mechanical purpose they don't seem to be for anyone in fact the people that they would be for are all gone and they expand outward so excessively and impossibly One idea was the idea that the structure itself was now so large that it was the equivalent to the size of a Dyson sphere. Which is, if I remember correctly, is a structure so huge that it encompasses the sun. Maybe even the solar system. Structures that just keep going and going. That insanity, that impossibility, that irrationality is what kind of comes to mind when you see something like this that's this continuous and this big that looks like a structure a lot of the places in this game just look, look like nonsense a series of floating weird islands but this one looks like a place because it has walls that enclose it and there's a few of them in this place that are like this once it feels enclosed it feels like it has finality despite the sheer scale of it all Not gonna lie, I got a little overwhelmed by the scale of this whole place. Kind of forgot that I could just jump off. I mean, not that I could jump off, that I could, uh, invert. Maybe the other side of you makes more sense. And has something for me. I hope. Otherwise I might be lost. Not looking great. Looks like a staircase. But it does not look useful. You can see through these windows. But if I want to get through these windows, I need this cube. So let's go back. Because previously there was that one inversion beam I saw. Let's see what I can bring in here.
I'm not sure yet what to think of this. Maybe if you put a purple beam, a purple cube into the orange beam, maybe it doesn't work how I thought. Because I was thinking that maybe you were, maybe you'd only worked on a, an orange cube, but instead, maybe it turns the cube orange. Oh, it has to. My bad. Because it started orange, and here it's purple. That's my mistake. Almost brained me. <laughs> Here we go. Sometimes I don't mind getting lost in this game. Just because I get to spend more time in the weirdness of it all. Hard to complain. Hey, one attempt. So if you're going the right direction the whole time, you actually can make that in the first jump. Useful. And we're free.